And hello everyone, we are back in Space Plan. And we have over 6 million watts. So we can go ahead and launch this pod module now. Prepare escape pad for a harsh landing. The ship will remain in orbit producing things. Let's do it. Uh, are we going? I didn't, I didn't see his launch. Um, Hyper R types person pod is ready for separation. The ship will remain in orbit for making things. I'll take a trolley load of power to get us out of orbit. Fire when ready using the leader idea. Oh, okay. So <laughs> we need another two million watts. Okay, I thought I thought that was gonna launch us. That was just preparing us to launch. We haven't actually launched yet. So we're gonna need to get a whole million more watts. Alright. Well, I'll be back. So something else that I did while we were gone was I bought this Tater Incubator two times, and so now uh, the game will keep playing itself for 30 minutes after we're gone. But now we have over 2 million watts, so we are going to go ahead and return to Earth. Eject from your hopper and return to Earth. There we go. We've just launched. There we are. That little blue dot headed down. Ejecting pod from for atmospheric entry. With our separation from the main ship, our thing maker can focus on bigger things. Here we go. We're gonna it's a night landing. We're landing at night. Heading into the atmosphere. And we've landed. Pod's still in, still intact. Oh, the whole Earth thing. Yeah. Looks like this is it. Let's get out our uh, radar improved uh let's get our radar improved using, I don't know, our massive Spudnik network, whatever. Let's just confirm the Earth theory. I also, oh look, we're, we're like headed up towards the continent, like with it rotating. Very nice. Also, think I've got enough data to understand how the humans all killed themselves. No point in explaining it to you. It's pretty complicated stuff. I may have a world saving plan though. Get us that system peaker for sure. That's 20,000 watts. Or, t excuse me, 20 million watts. And we'll be able to see the solar system after we update the, our radar. Okay. That's going to be interesting. And so we're still, we're on the planet right now. I think we're on the dark side with the little blue dot. And we also have our spaceship still orbiting up here. So we're going to go ahead and launch another potato plant. There we go. Down goes another potato plant. We can get another one as well. Two more potato plants. There they go. Slowly trailing down to the planet's surface. All right, so we now have enough for this tater tower. So I think that's gonna launch from our probe up here. I think that's the only thing that can make stuff. So let's launch one of those. Oh yeah. Oh, it's huge. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's coming down guys. Let's, oh my, oh my goodness. That is enormous. Oh, oh look, it even like kicked up some Mars dust. I guess that's Earth dust actually. But the Tater Tower is successfully landed. Oh, look at that. And these little like particles are just like flying all over the place. Oh my goodness. And now we can see the tower sort of like moving around the planet. Oh, that's very cool. Let's get out another potato plant as well. Oh man. That is enormous. God, like if this is Earth, that's just this enormous tower. Just absolutely gigantic. Now that we have over 3 million watts, 
let's go ahead and get this potato power plant root upgrade. It's going to increase our potato plant power gain by three times. So let's see what happens to this number over here. Oh yeah, we just went up by over 3,000 per second. All right, I think it's another teeter tower that we're going to get up next. Launch that out. Ah, oh, God, it's this game is so pretty. Like it, it, like the tower launches out of the back, and then as it falls down the atmosphere, it like rotates down, so it's like pointing at the planet. There's us over there. We're not going to get hit by the tater tower. We're okay. Boom. And it's landed. There goes the dust up into the atmosphere. Excellent. And we have 20 million watts. So we can go ahead and launch the solar system peaker. Let's do it. Right. Let's get this story straight. Check the system peaker. Access it using the button at the bottom of the screen. System peaker. Oh, my dear. Yep, pretty likely we're on Earth. So my plan, this sounds silly, but bear it with me. The idea is based entirely on my total misunderstanding of Stephen Hawking's book I just picked up in my data thingy. <laughs> so according to the uh, disproven big country theory, the universe at some point is going to reverse direction and mush all together. If I've misunderstood correctly, that might go backwards during the shrinking... Time might go backwards during the shrinking of space-time. Uh, probably, but let's go... Probably not, but let's just go with it. <laughs> if... Right. We <laughs> we put these huge bugger-off massive boosters onto the planet, then we can remain in a stable orbit while firing more... Uh, taters into the sun. <laughs> This will increase its mass, meaning that we'll have to go faster to stay in orbit. The faster we go, the slower our perception of time relative to the universe. Time travel. Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, with enough mass, the sun will collapse in on itself in a black hole type deal. Then we approach the event horizon. At the event horizon, time will become uh, infinite. Now, I'm 90% sure that this is a euphemism for uh, maddening death, uh, but I'm a robot and can't feel, and you're a person experiencing a very linear narrative, so with time being infinite, we'll reach the big crunchy crunch in no time. <laughs> or, or infinite time. I'm pretty confused at this point, to be honest. Anyway, then we'll probably get a big old bang, then reverse and go back. Uh, then uh, reverse and go back to going forward. Hopefully the universe ends up with a more or less identical state than before. But this time we, I, know how the human race dies. We return to Earth, let them know. We're heroes, credits roll. <laughs> Start to... Start the extended remake and then sell it on mobile, tablet, and PC. Uh, shush with your plot holes. Let's do this. Planet boosters. <laughs> oh my goodness. That is ridiculous. I love it. This game is wonderfully silly. That is just... Uh, all this based on a misunderstanding of Stephen Hawking. Wonderful. All right, now that we have over 35 million watts, we can get this planet booster up and running. Let's do it. I have no idea what this is going to do. Uh, something about Stephen Hawking and heat death of the universe. But it is headed down to the planet right now. So in a second, oh, oh, it's like a... Oh, it's like extending out. Oh, well, I guess it's going to be a booster thing. We're just putting an enormous booster on the side of the planet. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it's going to the opposite side of the sun, I think. All right, the same side of the sun, actually. We're boosting away from the sun? Oh, oh, good grief. <laughs> Excellent. The planet booster is in position. Earth, the spaceship, ready for time travel stuff. <laughs> uh, 
build space guns to uh, increase the sun's mass, increasing our speed and therefore speeding up time or whatever. The more things you've built, solar panels, per potatoes, etc., the higher the mass of the spuds and taters that we can fire into the sun. Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. So we are orbiting the mass of Sol because we have become the planet. The atmosphere is thick, all the inhabitants are dead, and the mass is at 0.009% of what we need it at. I wonder if that's like actually representative of how big the mass of Sol would have to be for it to turn into a... Uh, for it to turn into a uh, black hole. That would be interesting. All right. In the meantime, we're gonna get up some more potato plants because since we got that upgrade for them, they're actually very powerful. Well, over a thousand watts each, which is just under the, what this costs uh, per watt. Uh, so these are extremely efficient. And <laughs> this is just. <laughs> Oh, this is ridiculous. All right, and then so down here we have our spud gun. Fires one spud into the sun with 3,500 mass per 10 seconds. Okay, so this is like a rolling thing. So it'll like continually fire spuds into the sun. Um, and it's also giving us watts per second. A pretty good amount of watts per second. So that's great. I think we're going to save up and get one of these spud guns next. And now I believe it is time to get this spud gun up and running. Let's do it. Oh, wow. Is that going to... Oh. Oh my goodness. It's like staying in orbit. It's like a giant potato and it's just firing every couple seconds or so. Sending like potato particles out. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this mass isn't going up very fast. Like, I think we're literally just launching potatoes at the sun. So uh, I think this is going to take a while. Yeah, that hasn't ticked up at all. Um, yeah. What did this say? Uh, the higher the mass of the spuds and taters that we can, uh, the more things you've built, the higher their mass. Okay. So this is currently at 3582. What happens if we, like, build a few more things? Uh, 3654. So it went up by about 100 there. Oh, and look, the mass is starting to extremely slowly tick up so we are making a dent in the sun and <laughs> it's gonna take a while yeah this is this is going to take a while but that's the whole point it's uh it's a clicker game they're supposed to take a while all right i have let this run for a little while and as you can see we have generated well, about uh, 400,000 watts right there. So we've been going for quite some time, and I think it is the correct time to get a potato launcher up and running. Oh, it's a big circle. Let's wait and see how it fires. Okay, it, it launches the same as the other guys, so that's not too crazy. Um, how much... 4,000, 13,000. Yeah, these are the uh, potato launchers are probably the most efficient things right now. However, if we get back up to 300,000, we can get that uh, the best genetic things, which will allow us to theoretically it should double our output. All all the potato things produce twice the power, so theoretically that should double our power output, right? Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Also, we're up to about 2% mass, so this is taking a very long time. But let's get the let's get this the best genetic things. So we're at 224,000. 
So it should go up to 448,000? Yes! Oh my goodness, it just doubled our output. That is insane. Okay. What else do we have over here? Well, we have the solar spuds, which will double the output of our spud gun. Oh god, these are giving so much now. Yeah. We're just gonna pop up a few more of these things, increase our production just a little bit more. Let's take a look at uh, how what percentage of our production is coming from what. So we've got almost 19% from that one potato launcher. We've got 10.5% from the spud gun. And 48%, almost half of our power is coming from the tater towers. And as you can see, they're just... It, it's starting to look like a, a bunch of french fries just stuck into the planet all over the place. I have a tendency, it seems, to drop them on, uh, I guess this is what, the like North Pole, maybe? Something like that, uh, of the planet. And I accidentally dropped one into the afterburner as well, so that's lovely. We've also, we've also got a bunch of these potato plants, which are giving us 17% of our power. We've got the Spudniks at 4%, the uh, Probe Potatoes at 1.4, 0 0.2 from just the regular potatoes, and 0 0.1 from the solar arrays. So uh, as you can see, we're getting a lot more from these higher tiered things. Yeah, let's drop another plant down. And as you can see here, that, that's where we are, and there goes the plant we just launched. You can see where you are basically by uh, tracking where the sun is. So you see like the, you can see the shadow here. Uh, the other things don't cast shadows, only us and the planet cast a shadow. And uh, as you can see, like, is this rotating faster? I feel like the planet is rotating faster. Let's go take a look at the solar system. <laughs> oh, look at that. We've got our little planet zooming around you can see the afterburner from here and we've you can see the little potatoes going into the sun we can't see any of the other planets anymore which is interesting i don't know what's happened to them have they all been like flung out of orbit <laughs> that would be interesting I, I didn't see that happen but maybe since like we're increasing the mass of the sun and this game speed is very fast. You see, like, one orbit around the sun would theoretically be a year, and we're traveling very, very quickly. So theoretically, since we've increased the mass of the sun by over 2%, actually, I don't even know well, how much the mass of the sun has gone up. That's not 2% more. That's 2% of the way to a black hole. So, uh... Yeah, I'm guessing what happened is, like, our thruster is keeping us in orbit, and the other planets have just, like, I guess they would have, like, been flung off into space. So that's why we don't see any planets anymore. Oh, that's a shame. That would have been nice to see all the planets go flying. That's all right. Yeah. A little... Just our Earth is left orbiting the planet. I, I bet you that's what happened. I bet they all got flung off into space. That would make sense. Because 2% of the way to a black hole means the mass of the sun has gone up quite a lot. Yeah. And down here we've got all of our things still firing off. Uh, we can get another spud gun up and running. Let's see. So this, but see, there's no reason to get another spud gun because the towers are way more efficient. Not only do they give more watts per second, but they also cost less. So the only reason we'd go for the spud gun is if we wanted to increase this uh, ticking up that's going on here. But I don't think we're in any real big hurry to do that. So let's just get another uh, tater tower up and running. And you can see another tater tower right there headed down to the planet. I wonder where this one's going to land. And we're, we are still on the planet. You can see us right there, that little blue dot near the afterburner down there. And once again, we've put this french fry right in with all the others. Everything's on this side of the planet. Except I managed to get three down over there. And look at the little dust go flying. So yes, 
All right, we're gonna have to let this tick up even farther. Cool, I I don't know how much longer I'm gonna go on this video today. It, I think I'm just gonna like go out and grab lunch or something and just let this continue ticking up. So I will see you guys back here when we have gotten a little further. So yes, we are indeed spinning faster, a lot faster. If you take a look up here, we can see that we started in the 2300s and we're already to the year 2500. And you can see the months and days are just ticking by incredibly fast. So that is just, we are just blasting through time already. And as you can see, we are just tearing around the planet extremely quickly, which is fantastic. So this is going well so far. You can see we've put a few more potato satellites into orbit, and we are starting to get into the grindy part of this game. I'm guessing this is sort of the uh, the main push of the game, is to get this up to 100%, and I think that's going to take a very long time. Of course, it'll start to snowball as we go, but um, for now, it's going to be very slow going. But... Yeah, you can see now we are moving so fast that if you like watch the paths that the uh, spud guns are firing at, we're rotating around the sun so quickly that like the direction that these things have to fire in is changing very fast. So like one fires here and then the next one is like at a higher angle and a higher angle and we're already rotating up. So now they're firing at basically 12 o'clock and then two o'clock. Now they're already firing at three o'clock, four o'clock five o'clock so it, it's going around very very quickly and i think with that we're gonna have to end this video i think we have gone through quite a lot and now we just need to let this run and it's gonna run for a while we're only up to well still under four percent and this is gonna been going for several hours at this point so let's just grab one last spud gun plops into existence there click the amplifier a few times and i think that is going to be it thank you guys so much for watching this episode of a space plan and uh if you have any suggestions for other games that i should play go ahead and put that down in the comments also subscribe if you like this video and like to see my other videos as well and i will see you all tomorrow thank you guys see ya